Hi, this is Theo from Pluckablocks.com. Today I'm going to review an app called Bamboo Paper that is made by Wacom, the same company that makes tablets and Syntix. This app is for note taking and drawing and this is actually one of my favorite apps because of its simplicity. It's available on Android, iOS as well as on the Windows platform so you can go download this from your app store. The basic version is free, however, if you want to unlock all the features, then you have to spend some money. So today I'm going to go through the features to show you what it is good for and also what it is not good for. Let me open this. This is the home page where you can see all your different notebooks. And there are several different types of notebooks that you can choose from. With the basic version, you can only choose from one of the four, and this is the default one that is called Thinker. The other three, are, they are called Maker, Artist, Writer. These three are not free. And the main difference between these four notebooks are the paper. So for Thinker, you can choose a variety of uh, paper. For example, you can choose horizontal lines, you can choose vertical lines, you can also choose dotted uh, dotted grids like this so let me choose the dotted grids and show it to you I'm not sure if you can see the dots but there are actually uh, dots going across vertically as well as horizontally let me press the home button again let me show you other notebooks so this is maker let me click on that and with maker you can choose different types of paper as well but for maker you can choose a variety of grids so we have uh, cross-section grids big grids small grids and also triangular grids with the next notebook this is artist with artists you can choose different colored paper for example you can choose white paper tan paper grayscale black paper or dark grayscale let me choose black so let me click on this and show you the canvas again so this is black you can just draw on black which which is pretty cool and the last notebook is writer with writer you can choose uh, different types of paper as well different horizontal lines different types of grid I think there's even a storyboard mode let me click on this and show it to you By the way, I'm using bamboo paper on my iPad Pro today with the Apple Pencil. So this is, I think, a storyboard mode where you can actually put, uh, draw something here and write your lines here. Now, this app, of course, it supports rotation, so you can just uh, tilt the app in whatever orientation you want and uh, buttons, they will move accordingly. So there are different types of paper that you can check out. But for the basic version, you are only limited to this particular uh, notebook. And all your work, all your pages, they are grouped into uh, each particular notebook. So you can have a notebook just for taking notes, for example. And you can also rename uh, the notebook. You can uh, have a notebook for jotting down ideas, for sketching, or for journaling and it's very easy to organize the work so usually for me personally I just have two notebooks one would be on taking notes and the other would be on sketching all right let me show you the user interface the user interface elements are these buttons at the top and also some buttons at the bottom this one at the top left is the home button when you press it you can get back to the home page to look at our different notebooks the second button allows you to import pictures from your photo gallery or you can take a picture with your camera and put it onto the canvas I actually use this feature uh, quite often when I'm out on assignment I'm going to show that to you later on now the next button allows you to export the pages so you can email the pages to yourself you can send it or save it to the photos gallery in the tablet you can send it to Dropbox Facebook Twitter Tumblr and if you are to email it to yourself the pages they will be saved into a multi-page PDF and you can download it from your email and you can export it out to use with um, other drawing applications on your computer 
The next two buttons are redo undo. Now this button here in the middle allows you to hide all the other buttons. This is quite helpful when you're drawing close to the edge for example here and you do not want these buttons to interfere with your drawing. So this is quite helpful. The next button is a wireless um, signal button. When you click on it, it says here stylus configuration. You can actually pair a digital stylus with this app but the only brand that you can use is Wacom so you can only use Wacom digital styluses and when you pair that digital stylus with this app you can get features like palm rejection and pressure sensitivity if you are using other brands of styluses for example Donit then you're not going to get features but um, it's still usable and with the Apple Pencil you can also get palm rejection and pressure sensitivity so that's great the next button is where you get the drawing tools. If you are using the basic version, only the pen and the marker, they are provided. The rest, the pencils, the brush pen, the brush, and the crayon, these four tools, they are not free, so you have to buy them. But the pen and the marker, they are free. With the next button, you can choose different colors and this button here is the eraser this eraser when you tap it twice you can clear the page so this is quite handy so let me show that to you and once you tap it twice you can clear the page very quickly and this is the bookmark so if you have a lot of pages you want to bookmark certain pages you can just press this and let me show you the buttons that are at the bottom so this is a page marker, a page navigator. So you can click on this and it will show you all the different pages. So right now I only have one page in this particular notebook. So if I want to add more pages, I can do so just by clicking this button here. So I can add unlimited pages. In addition to adding pages here, I can also add pages with this button here on the right side. So after you finish a particular page, you can just press this to go to the next page and a new page will be created for you automatically and it will be saved into your notebook and just now I mentioned the bookmark button that is here if you were to bookmark this page right now you can actually see it being bookmarked here and when you press the bookmark button here it will filter out all the pages that are not bookmarked those are almost all the features in this app so it has very limited customization even for the tools you can only choose three type of thickness like thin medium and thick and if you want to buy this extra tools or the notebooks you can go to the home page click on the shopping cart here you can buy the notebooks separately or you can buy the tools separately or you can buy the notebooks and the tools in one bundle which was what I did because it's more economical to do that alright now let me show you the writing performance and the drawing performance I'm using Apple Pencil and it supports palm rejection and it works quite well when taking notes so I can put my palm on the surface and actually draw or write on it and it works quite flawlessly now you can use other stylus as well this is a Donit Dash 2 so let me try it so because this stylus it doesn't support palm rejection I get stray strokes like this all over the place so to use this properly I need to lift my palm off the surface there is very minimal lag and it doesn't irritate me so uh, with other styluses with this type of styluses the 1.9 mm tip or even with rubber styluses like this in this app I think it's uh, very good this is the bamboo stylus it works very well too even with a stylus that supports pressure sensitivity the line variation that you can get is also quite limited for example if I were to choose this brush pen if I were to pick this thin line 
I can get a thin line when I press down hard I can get a slightly thicker line but I cannot go any thicker than this so I need to pick a thicker line so I'm going to pick this and with this I can get a very thick line but if I want a very thin line I'm not able to get something like this so that's the limitation you can only work with the tools that you have here with bamboo paper it is quite difficult to fill an area with color because there is no paint bucket too so if I were to let's say draw a box and I want to color this box I can only pick uh, these tools to color let's say if I pick this marker to color it's quite difficult to color within the box and also with this marker too there is this overlay feature which in this case I do not want but I cannot uh, choose not to want it because I cannot configure it any other way so the next tool that I can use perhaps is this brush pen but this brush pen covers only a very small area it's going to take me a very long time to fill up this whole box so let's see what I have here this is a smudging tool that allows me to smudge it's also going to take me a very long time and this is the crayon tool but um, I don't want this texture so it's very difficult to color this box and uh, this box with this solid color it's just um, quite difficult to do Now the pencil tool is quite nice because uh, if you are using a uh, pressure sensitive stylus you can actually get the lines to appear dark when you press down but appear faint when you draw lightly and the uh, cross hatching lines they are quite nice you can blend the pencils together and they will look uh, very nice together with this crayon tool I think you can get a very textural look to your drawing if you want to even with styluses that are not supported for example this is a donate dash 2 again it is still quite accurate the line it always appears beneath the tip and I can join my lines quite comfortably without any misalignment there's no parallax as well so this is quite good performance Another thing is with this particular stylus, at least for Adonit Dash 2, Adonit has minimized the problem with jittering diagonal lines or jittering wavy lines. I mean, it's still there, but it is not really a big problem compared to their Adonit Dash 1. If you use a rubber stylus like this, then of course there is not going to be any problem. Even with a rubber stylus with a big tip like this, I can still draw quite comfortably and is able to connect all the lines quite easily. The last feature I want to talk about is the ability to import a picture onto the canvas. So you can do that by importing a picture that is already in your gallery or you can take a photo with the camera. I have already taken the photo so I'm just going to place that photo from my gallery which is this photo before you place it you can actually move it around you can scale it you can rotate it and once you are happy you can tap on the outside area of the photo and it will fix it onto the canvas now with this I will pick a pen too I will pick a different color and I can actually draw lines like this I can write annotate and uh, this is really very handy for me when I'm out on assignment and this is I think a very useful feature for reporters or basically anyone who wants to write some notes over photographs this is a very very good feature and after you are done with this page you can press the next page button and a new page will be created so it's very easy to create multi-pages once you completed a page you can just click the button and go on to the next page and start writing or drawing again and the main reason why I like this app is because of its simplicity 
There are definitely some downsides. For example, it is very difficult to fill an area with colors because there is no paint bucket too. And this is not a painting app, so there are no paint brushes. But for the purposes of taking notes or doing line art or doing very simple doodles, I think this app it performs really, really well. The basic version of this app is free, so I invite you to go to your app store, download it and try it out on your phone or tablet. And that is all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye!